everyone, Becca Starr, and let me make sure I'm set up because I will be using this as a podcast as well. Welcome. I'm sharing this broadcast on my Facebook Live, my private group, Your Life Design Today. So if you're able to catch this live, thank you. Let me know that you're here in the comments. And I thought I could share my screen because I have an app and it's not allowing me to do that. I have no idea. Oh, I think I can do that actually. Never mind. I just figured it out. So I wanted to talk about what August means to me and what it could mean for you. So if August is the end of the summer and we know like starting September, like things, if the weather's going to change again, things are going to get much more just grounded. It's, you know, autumn, it's a different feel of the year. August is the perfect time to rest. We go on vacation, we spend more time with our families, we create memories. I mean, we get a tan, hopefully it's going to last until Christmas, but we just let go. And if this is how you're spending, you're going to soak up every ounce of the end of the summer that you can. Make sure that you're really giving yourself permission to do just that. Be all there. Let it all go. I mean, if you have to show up for work still, you go to work, but maybe you're a teacher. I mean, truly just let it go and be okay with that. And even if you have to show up for work, just, you know, just enjoy what this month really means to a lot of people. I mean, in other countries, I think most um, people just literally leave, you know, I mean, unless you're a real productive country or a city like what we have here, you really truly just let go. I mean, you go on vacation, you have holiday and you just enjoy it. The weather's on your side. It's that's what this is really meant for. So with that said, there's also an alternative. And that would be for people that maybe you're not there. Maybe your family is not really around. You don't really have friends around this month. Um, maybe like me, you've traveled the rest of the year. So, I mean, I am just so happy to be at home right now. And back, we just got back, was it the beginning of August, I don't know what date it is right now, but um, I know it's August, it's towards the beginning of the month. And just last week we got back, I got my kids back into a part-time daycare program a couple mornings a week. So I actually am really happy to be back to our old boring routine. So we can just, I can have some time to focus and do some work that I haven't been able to do most of the summer. So maybe you're in this category of, you're not in a boat somewhere, you're not in a beach somewhere, you just, you're not there, but there's a way to make the best of this. And while, especially while everyone is out having fun and doing that thing, it's really like no one's around, like you can really go inside like you can really enjoy the weather but bring your notebook it's a great 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 time to strategize and really get clear on your direction for where you're going and where you're going next year and um not next year for the rest of this year and so what i'd like to do is just share some ways that you'll be able to do this. And if you choose to be more real mindful and intentional and take advantage of this month to just not shift your focus, but go deeper with it, like really get clear on what direction you're heading, then I wanna share some things. And so this is actually brilliant if you don't wanna feel left out of summer fun or you're really passionate about your business and you maybe finally have some time or some space, energy to devote to it. And most importantly, this is super smart if 
you want to gain some serious momentum. So while everyone else, uh, everyone's out just having fun, this is actually the perfect time for creating, planning, getting an edge while everyone else is out playing. So um, I have some notes. I might just take a look at my notes, but I'll switch back and forth if there's any comments. And I really just personally, I was in this personal space and I read an article and it was all about August. And it just made me realize that, wow, this, every season of the year has its own flow. And the more accepting we are of our own personal flow, like where we are at certain times of the day, certain times of the month, especially as women, like the more we honor the seasons of life in our life and where we live and the more we honor and just in general have acceptance, then the more abundant and the more successful we can be. So I want you to think about the end of the year. So imagine that it's New Year's Eve. If you're out partying, you're not drunk yet. You are feeling the rewards of what it feels like to have accomplished everything that you are going to set your mind to right now. You're now, we're halfway through the year, and this is why it's another reason why this is a great, perfect time to really see where you're at and where are you on track? Do you want to shift that a little bit? And it's just a perfect time to do that because, I mean, maybe June or July is technically the right times of the year that make it the halfway mark. Nobody at June and July, we're just happy it's finally summer. So again, honoring the season, but going with the flow, like really this is a great halfway point to see, are you on track to where you were hoping to be? We all have New Year's resolutions and then life, is life taking you over? Is life kind of controlling your moves or are you intentionally doing what you would hope to be doing. So really take a look at that. This is the, again, perfect time of the year, the perfect month to be doing that. So let me see if I have anything here. I wanted to share, not yet. Okay. I have a little agenda I want to follow so that I can keep us on track. So imagine that it is New Year's Eve and you are getting ready or you're just getting out for the night or maybe you're snuggling with your boo on the couch and going to bed by 10 o'clock because your life has become so successful and you actually love waking up early now. We all have a different goal. So it's the end of the year, it's New Year's Eve and you just feel so complete. You feel so good about where and who you've become by the end of this year. You are acknowledged for what you have achieved, whether it's in your industry, your clients, your bottom line, the, the inflow of cash that you're receiving. I'm gonna have to close these windows. The gardeners just came and I guess there's no way to pause this. So just give me one moment. I forget that on Mondays, the gardeners always come. Um, so reverse engineering, we're starting with the end of the year. Now, what happened to get you there, to that place that this is exactly what you would hope for? You're feeling even better than you dreamed was possible, and you're just feeling so satisfied and accomplished. So you did what you set out to do. And not only can you check things off your list as in achieving goals, but the feelings that you have. So I really want you to focus on how you would hope to be feeling about where you've come by December 31st, just looking towards just the end of the year. And you did it. This is where you're at. Now I'm gonna give you a bunch of suggestions 
for what to focus on and how to strategize for the rest of this year. So if you have a notebook and a pen now, just write whatever comes to mind, but then also don't don't get too distracted. You could just stay here with me, be present, and then watch the recording or listen to the podcast, press pause as you're watching the recording. I just want you to, I'm going to probably talk fast like I usually do, and I want you to connect with this as I'm saying it and let it inspire you. Have a notebook and a pen, jot down things, but know that you can take some time when we're done here and you can write some things down that come to you post the live broadcast. So wherever you would like to be, what had to happen to get you there? So that's just kind of thinking reverse engineering. Think about what needs to happen to get you to where you want to be. And this is actually, I should have even, uh, I didn't really do too much promotion except for about 30 minutes ago. Um, but this is actually more like a webinar. I'm, I'm going to take you through some strategies and things that are going to be super helpful in your creating your, call it your business plan. So yes, your August business plan. So you're feeling badass. You feel amazing. And these are some ideas of what to do this month to really take advantage of what you can tap into. So I have a PDF and I can give you a link so that you can download that PDF. And for now, I'm gonna even just try to share it on my screen. Let's see, what did I do with it? still figuring some things out. So thank you for hanging in there with me while I do that. So here's the August business plan. How, what is that? Oh, okay. Well, I don't think I can share it on my screen. I thought that's one thing that this app did, but it is not allowing me to do that in this broadcast, but I will figure it out. And in the meantime, I'm just going to take a look at what I've written here. So how to create rock star status through year end. And that's what we want to do. These are eight ways to focus. I'm going to take a second. Okay. So consistent marketing will bring you consistent clients. What can you plan out to ensure that no matter what happens when the world gets back to work this September, that you are tapped into your market. Write down a marketing plan that is well thought out. Now is the time to do it. Do you have a social media platform that's your favorite? Do you want to pick just one? And we talked a little about that last week in my Facebook Live, but if you have a preference for social media, pick one and really have a plan for it, your social media strategy. And I did share on my private Facebook group, I can do that again, but Natalie Boucher has an amazing 31 day calendar. It's a social media calendar, but it really helped me many months ago, just really get clear on kind of the flow of posting on social media. So also think about as far as consistent marketing, are there people that you can meet with or collaborations that you can form? So is there somebody that you'd like to work with? And is there somebody that maybe not as much going into business with somebody? Because if that's not, I mean, I'm not referring to that. I'm talking about maybe doing a joint event or a webinar together or writing a book together or something that you know that this person and you together would be a powerhouse, a team that would be a great, and there could be more than one person out there. My old business partner and I, we get together and we are so much bigger than ourselves. And we both, the way that we think and expand and create is 
it's pretty rad. So, I mean, if there's somebody that you'd like to collaborate with, think about that. So consistent marketing will bring you consistent clients. I want you to think of your marketing strategy for the rest of the year. Make sure you have one in place. This is the time, like I said, all this stuff about August, this is the time to get really intentional and focus on your strategy. So marketing, huge thing. So be intentional, excuse me, be intentional about where you're heading and what you want to achieve. So I know I have a mixed audience. Most of you are women entrepreneurs. You want to create or give something to this world. But for right now, while we have this time to create whatever we want, are your desires, are they personal, professional, or even humanitarian? Are they like something that you want to do for the world in a humanitarian way? So what goals are pulling you? So not just what needs to be done. Think about what makes you feel good and then write down everything that comes to mind. This is your chance truly to create your next chapter. And I just want to check to make sure that my audio and everything is working on my Facebook page. Let's see. Yep, it looks like it is. Hopefully sound is okay. Yep, it is. Um, Remember that all of this gets recorded and even on the podcast. How annoying. So (laughs) not for me, but for you. Um, So don't think about what needs to be done. And then also when you write down the things that are pulling you, things that you would really love to be doing, honor all those things, write them down, and then prioritize them. And one of the best ways to do that is thinking when would you like to see that happen? So I know we're just thinking about the next five months or so. Still use the numbers one, three, five, and 10. This is a great way to really see how important something is to you. So the number one is you absolutely want to see this happen within one year. The number three is it's important, but not as pressing as something that you'd like to have happen right away. The number five is a little more long-term and 10 years is definitely more long-term. So when you write down everything that you'd love to achieve personally, professionally, for the world, humanitarian, just prioritize those things. (laughs) Excuse me. And I will also, I can post a link to a workshop that I offer, which really takes you through some great, steps and exercise to really get clear on all of that and to get real clarity of what actions to take. And that's, you know, prioritizing what you really want to spend your time doing. So one of the next things is how can you make your life bigger? Can you hire a virtual assistant? Would that help? Do you want to take an online course? Is One way to make your life bigger is to get three new clients or take on a huge project. Or if it's more personal or professional, do you want to travel? Do you want to do an international trip? Is there something that you're seeing that if you committed to writing that, excuse me, as if writing something down is a big commitment, but it is, and we honor it. So think of how you can make your life bigger. And don't be shy with that one. Write down everything that comes to mind for that. And the next step or ways to focus is what is your message? So what is it that you're offering your clients? And how do you currently verbalize that? What's your brand and Does your brand represent your message? Do you even have a brand? I might do, you know, probably next week I can do some things around branding. If you don't already have your brand, you certainly need one. And do you know who your ideal client is? I hope that you do. But as far as marketing goes, you need to know who your client is in order to speak to them. 
So if you don't already have a very clear image of the person who is your ideal client, start here. And once you know who you're talking to, you can better say what needs to be said. And I'm going to just take a look at my notes real quick again. So I also think as much as we want to talk about what we do, especially if somebody asks, what do you do? And I can go a whole lot deeper into this one, but people actually, I mean, they're interested if you say something interested and interesting, but they're not as interested in what you do as much as what you can do for them or what you, what are the results that you give your clients? So instead of saying, I manage social media accounts, that sounds cool, but how is that going to help me? If you're speaking to your ideal client, what is it that you can say to them that clearly verbalizes your message of what it is that you're offering them? I bring I bring increased media awareness to my clients. I think of, I'm not social media as a manager, so, but think about what it is that you create as far as results go. So just think of the results and think of a way to frame that when you talk about it. And for me, I, inc I help my clients, women entrepreneurs. I know that's who I want to work with. I help them increase their income and their levels of satisfaction. And so that's what I do. And there's other ways I can say that, but it's the, what I want to create, the results I want to create for my particular clients. So what the hope is, is that you can trigger an organic response in who you're speaking to or how you're saying it on your website or your social media, where people get that feeling of, I need to work with her. So are you creating that feeling? Like, I need to work with her. So that's what I want people to think. And even if it's not them, but they know somebody else that needs to know about you, like create that. And we're all working on towards that. We want to connect. Like that's the thing. And just stay in that intention of really, truly connecting. So really, truly connecting isn't talking about what you do as much as maybe how you can help or how it relates to someone else or what someone else needs. That is more connection than any other way to market your business. So that is, let's see. So that was consistent marketing will bring you consistent clients. What are you doing and what is your strategy for marketing for the rest of the year? Being intentional, getting really clear and intentional about where you're heading personally, professionally for the world, writing down what you truly want to have happen through the rest of this year and then prioritizing that. How can you make your life bigger? That's a feeling of space and freedom and abundance and all of that. So whatever comes up for that, what's your message? How are you clearly stating what you do? And then while you're lounging by the pool, if that's what you choose to do for your days, your afternoons, especially when you're alone and by yourself, whether you're at home or you're out in the sunshine, bring your notebook. Always, I always think having a notebook handy is like one of the best tools because it honors our channel of inspiration. So we're tuned in, especially as we start tuning in more, we get more messages and we get more inspiration. And the best way to honor that is to take that action of writing it down. So even if you're going to be lounging by the pool and relaxing, stay open to that creative channel. You're tapping into that and just honor the ideas and inspirations that are coming 
your way that are coming through you and just write everything down whether you're not whether or not you take advantage of them or not like just write everything down so we have three more ways to focus and this particular one is a question are you an expert in your field so if you're not the go-to or you're not somebody that people can trust in your field as being like they know when they spend their money on your services or your products that they're getting something great that they love working with you and that if it fits in your industry that you would be asked to speak places and if this is something that we want to grow towards, what are we doing to create that? So one of the things we could do is write guest blog articles. We could be a guest as in an interview format for a podcast or a Facebook Live. And you could speak at industry events. You could do free meetup groups or free speaking engagements or paid, but getting yourself out there, writing articles, for the news media or for your own blog and just sharing what you do, letting the world know what you do. But knowing that you're creating a sense of stability and trust, that people know that you know your shit, that you are someone that is a leader in your industry. And if you want to create that, how can you do that? So now is the time to really think about that and how you might be able to position yourself as an expert. I'm going to take a sip of my coffee. Okay. So while no one's looking because everyone's out having fun and getting nice tans and vacationing with family, think about self-help stuff. If there is any type of self-work that you can do to be better, now is a great time to really go within and, and just think about that stuff. And think about, is there any character flaws that are holding you back? and get really very honest and accept that, that we all have character flaws, but we also all have positive assets and we have strengths. And so also think about your positive assets and what makes you who you are and what makes you do what you do even better. So aside from being truly willing to let the bad ones go. And if you have to do any work around this, whether it's therapy or writing, journaling, talking to a trusted friend, a mentor, just everyone has stuff. And so whatever you have to do to let go of that stuff, they're barriers to your success and your feelings of satisfaction and fulfillment. So whatever you can do to let go of that stuff, and then also embrace your strengths and really see yourself in the you know a complete picture so this is a great time to do this kind of work as well because like i just said no one's looking everyone's doing their thing this summer and really letting go and you're not in these you know more intense whatever work relationships or dynamics hopefully i mean i know people continue to work through august but this really is one of the best times of year to do this there are certain times of the year and, and i think all year we should be looking within as well, but there's sometimes we could even go a little further. So the final, the eighth way to focus and really create a rock star status in your industry for the rest of the year is, do you have your own voice? Are you confident with who you alone are? And are you authentic? Be authentic. Be who you are. And if what's required is some deep personal time to find this, then stop all else and just prioritize just this. Now, again, is a great time to do that. And it really is, it's just that time of year that is perfect for you to focus on yourself. 
and your business and what you're doing and who you're being in this world. So are you able to up-level any of that? Are you able to make any of that better? Take this time. August is your month. You can spend it with family, totally relaxing with margaritas and do that. Like be all in, do all, do that and let go of everything you could possibly let go of and really enjoy those moments. And if you don't have family around, if you're feeling rested and traveled enough at this time of the year, take advantage. It's like this halfway point. We can really take advantage of what we'd like to create. And really, are we on track to meet our goals by the end of the year? So how do you want to feel New Year's Eve, December 31st, ending the year out? How do you want to feel? And so are we facing in that direction. And sometimes that's all that's required is just facing in the right direction. So I believe that's it. Um, let me just check my notes. And I will make this available, the eight ways to focus for the end of the summer, your August business plan. I will make that available for you um, as a free download and um, I'll put that on my Facebook live. I'll also share an article that I have um, that I can finish up and put together. That's really talks about all this stuff. I just, there's a download that you can have this PDF I was just looking at and you can um, just have that. So you don't really, you just have it all written down. Like, okay, step one, consistent marketing. Let me, so I already just closed it, but you get the idea. And when I was doing this, I also chose to pick an angel card. And this is just a way that um, sometimes I like to also channel and get inspiration. And so the angel card that I selected while I was just, I was really focused on these eight ways and the message I wanted to share with you today, the angel card was gentleness. And so what that tells me is, of course, just be gentle on yourself and surround yourself with gentle people and situations and environments. And so I hope that helps. I needed to hear that as well. And as much as I can let go and have fun and I have that side of, I know what it's like to be hard on myself. And I wouldn't want that for anyone. I wouldn't want that for my daughter or my son or my best friend and anyone that I care about. So as long as we're being gentle on ourselves and loving ourselves, I adore Louise Hay. And she always says, when we love ourselves, it really cures all. It cures everything. My grandmother used to say that ice cream cured everything, but I like them both. Those thoughts are just, they're about taking care of ourselves and letting go and really being kind to ourselves and others. To me, that's some of the most important things in the world. So I hope that everybody has an awesome week. It's Monday right now. So just, you believe that you can and you will. And let me know if you have any questions about this. If you want me to, I did mention focusing on branding next week. So as far as your brand and how you put that out there in the world, maybe I could even find somebody to be a guest speaker. I can do an interview style um, broadcast. So, and let me know if you have anything else that you'd like me to focus on. Enjoy the beautiful day I hope that you're having and the summer and the weather. And I'll see you online. Thank you.